Okay, welcome back to the channel. Now, just to set off, there's a series of Hass videos that I'm going to be putting on the channel as and when they're ready. They're all recorded. Um, they've just got to be uploaded in the order that I want them to go on. This will not suit a lot of you if you're not into the Hass machines. This is not a kind of look what I've done video, this is more instructional video because you can't find too much information online or at least tutorial videos on the older classic control, I think this is called the classic control style Hass. So just a warning, you may not find this interesting if you don't have one of these machines. Right, now onto the video. This video is how to back up your older style Hass control with all your parameters, settings, programs, macro variables, etc. Now I've got this broken down and written down onto a piece of paper here that I've laminated, I'll keep this in my folder. I'll put a screenshot of this, you've got a nice clear picture and you can pause it, make a copy, do whatever you've got to do. So I'll add that to the video now. There you go, and we can get on with it. So the first thing you're gonna need um, is either a floppy disk or a USB. Now my machine, which a lot of them have, is the floppy USB emulator. So whether you do this to disk or USB doesn't make any difference. Um, the process is gonna be the same. If you've got a USB, it has to be formatted to look like a 1.44 megabyte floppy disk. There's software online. Uh, I'll see what I'm using on my PC, and I'll try and get a link to that and add that into the video now as well. If not, just Google it, you will find it. So the first thing you want to do is actually go into settings. So the first thing, go into settings, find setting seven. I'm already on that page. Parameters lock, turn that off, and then go down to 9000 series programs edit lock and also turn that off that way when you save your programs it won't just save what you can see it will save all the hidden macro programs that are in the background that you don't see so now you can come out of that go back to list um go back to list programs right now take your usb or your floppy disk insert it into the machine give it a second just to register now edit and then the way I have a look in my USB is I'll do edit and then F1, which accesses your menu at the top. And I'll go across to input output, floppy directory, and then I will say read. Now all I want to do here is check this lined out floppy directory empty. I wanted to check that there's nothing in the machine. So I'll go there, edit F1. But this time I want to go to send floppy press enter and now you've got enter floppy file name now go to the position screen and enter your machine's serial number so it has to be specific to your machine or it won't work so find your serial number either in your uh, manual on the machine when it comes up at the start or you can find it on the data tag on the back door so my machine's serial number is 22810 Enter that, so it's in the bottom left hand corner. And then once you've done that, go along and press F2. And now you'll see it says, sending offsets, floppy right. Sending variables, floppy right. And it will go through all of them. Sending settings. And then we should have sending parameters. And then there might be one more sending programs, I think will be the next one. Yep, now it's sending all your programs that you've got in your memory. So I've got a lot of uh, ReadySure Pro programs that are in there, you know, find the corner, find the center, etc., etc. So it will download all of them and it will also download any normal programs you've got in the machine. Once it says floppy done, that is it, everything from your machine is backed up. So if you was to have to take your battery out of your machine, take your board out of your machine, anything where you may lose its memory, that's what you want to do first. So this is what I'm showing you. See, now you could go to edit, F1, go back, I can now look at floppy directory. And then in my directory now is 
My serial number is the start of every program. So 22810 OFS is your offsets, VAR is your variables, set is your settings, PAR is your parameters, and PGM is your programs. So once you've done that and you've got that in there, you can then take your USB out. Now I'm not sure why, but I will show you just in case. On my USB floppy emulator, there's two buttons here. And normally that will change what um, partition this reads from. But if I'm trying to take something out of the machine, I have to press this until it says D1. Not sure why, I had no manuals with this, but if I don't press that so it says D1 first, when I pull the USB out, there will be nothing on it. So take out your USB or your floppy disk, take it to your PC, and check that all your variables, settings, parameters, etc., is on the machine. So there you go. When I'm looking for this info, I could Google it and I could find some stuff on the internet and sort of research and read various things. There was different processes, so I thought to myself, let's do a video of it, let's put it on the channel, and then anyone else with an old machine who wants to back it all up, there you go. You've got a bit more of an instructional video, a bit clearer to see, and then you've got a set of instructions you can print off yourself and go with. So yeah, cheers for watching, hope that helps.